Hey everybody, Roz GPBC. It is Marvelous Team Up Tuesday, uh, where Tad at Tad Reads Books and Stuff and I read a graphic novel or comic book, and then every two weeks we talk about that. Um, <clears throat> and this week is section two, or issues five through eight, of Harrow County, Harrow County Omnibus number one. Uh, I'll get to that in just a second. I'm going to give you a small reading update because I have been just awful in November. I still have about 170 pages left in Gauntlet, Lonesome Dove. See, I'm rattled. I was going to call it Down with the Wind. I'm not really digging it. It's not, it's, I mean, I like westerns. I just like them to be a little bit more... or less wordy because this is just I mean I get that Larry McMurtry is a good author but he's dragging on for me um, and it's taken me all month to get to where I'm at and uh, if Robert Duvall wasn't in the moot in the miniseries then I probably wouldn't even watch that but so that's where I'm at with this. Sorry, our dog is outside right now and he's making noises. I'm still working my way through Rivers of London. I'm guaranteeing I'm going to finish this this week. Uh, I am about 180 pages away from being done in what with Woman in White. See, my November has not been very good with reading, but and then um, my I let the daughter and AJ. Pick my pick to pick a book each from my uh, read what you own shelves to mix into everything. And AJ picked "She'll Never Tell" by Hunter Morgan. It looks like a thriller. And the daughter picked Barney Fife and other characters I have known. It's about Don Knotts, with a uh, forward by Andy Griffith. So I'm pretty excited to get to both of those. Um, I'm still going to read The Reading List and The Time Traveler's Wife. That's my goal for the rest of this week, is to... The Reading List, Time Traveler's Wife, Rivers of London, and The Woman in White. I know it sounds like a lot, but if I actually set my mind to it, it's really not a lot. Lonesome Dove? We'll see. Uh, I was actually feeling pretty bad, and then I saw... That Tad's kind of taking a little break on it too, so that made me feel a little bit better. Anyway, on to Harrow County, issues five through eight. Sister versus sister, creation versus creation, paint versus paint, townspeople versus townspeople. Uh, Emmy has now become a witch for the good. She helps people with, with their hate problems. She, she, she's actually bringing the communities together, teaching the townspeople to put up with the haints, which I thought was a really nice uh, way to do it. And then all of a sudden, the girl we saw at the end of the last issue, who we thought was Emmy in the big city, turns up, no, her name is Cammie, and she's rich because she learned her witchy powers early, and she uses them for her own gain. She shows up. And she thinks that her and her sister can take over the world, pretty much. And she starts going around and getting all the bad paints on her side. And Emmy can't figure out why nobody's coming to her anymore. Well, there was a towns, townsman who wanted Emmy to take care of a guy who was messing around with his wife. And she said, I don't do that. I'm sorry, I don't think we're going to talk anymore. I'm only here for good. So then the townsman sees the sister, thinks it's her, and is going to stab her, and she's like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not her, and you know you were going to cause harm, so what's the problem? And she actually takes care of it in an evil way. Um, the poor guy that's just got a crush, turns out um, the bad witch, Cammy makes him like grow plants out of his eyes and mouth and everything and he's just like that's what he is for the rest of his existence it's really sad and then there's a and then so the sisters are, are, are at odds now 
and Cammy has all the bad hands chasing Emmy because she won't join and Emmy says no and I'm gonna fight back and she gets the good hands to fight for her and that battle is pretty is, is a nice fight scene kind of with all the hands fighting each other based on which sister they're with and then Cammy has a butler who's I guess another one of those and she says you take care of it and so the butler's chasing Emmy and she can't beat him she can't fight him and then the great big like Wendigo thing shows up and smashes the butler and he says yeah you uh you were never fake with me you were always real and she invited me to a picnic just so that I would side with her and blah 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 so even though he hates all of them he's more on the side of somebody being real than because he can smell the fake which is pretty cool I hope he comes back uh, and then finally Cammy decides well I'm gonna take care of Pa because that'll get Emmy and she makes herself look like Cammy and gets into the house and Pa's looking out the window and, and Cammy picks up the shotgun and she's about to kill her Pa and click he's not so dumb and then Emmy actually runs in and her and Cammy have an altercation and Cammy's a little bit more powerful than Emmy when they're not in the woods and because Cammy's more city and Emmy is more connected to the woods because she grew up there but Cammy has a, a greater connection to Hester who is the original witch that created all these all these beings and so Cammy has the tree reach up into the house and rip Emmy out and has her like held to the tree with branches and stuff. And then she comes out and she says, we're going to see now because I, I, and then Emmy realizes, oh, you're not here for me. You're not here for the county. You're just here for her, for Hester. You want her power. Well, okay. You can have her. And then Cammy realizes what Emmy's been trying to hold down all this time. As Hester comes out of the ground, grabs Cammy, takes her underground with her, and we don't hear from her again in this in this section. So, and then Emmy's got coming, kind of going back to taking care of the county like she like she was. Uh, and it's it's pretty good. Um, I liked the fight, but it's almost starting to feel like, okay, there's a four-issue arc, and then we're going to get Freak of the Week. Because um, the first the first four issues, she, Emmy had to win over the town, and the townsfolk, and the Haints, and she did. And then in the second arc, the second four issues, her sister shows up, and she's evil, and Emmy has to, you know, kind of take take her down somehow. And, you know, but we do find out that the good and the bad haints are now lying low while Emmy just kind of gets back to helping with the ranch, with the farm. So we'll see what happens with that. And that's where it ends. Um, now the picture for nine, which is the next one, is it looks like the skinless boy. And... The last time we saw him was Emmy was saying, you can be my ambassador to the Haints, so go do your thing. And he, he, he runs off, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, overall, though, it's still just spectacular. It's not as good as Saga. It's not as good as The Righteous Thirst for Vengeance, but it's much better than Thirsty Mermaids. Um, it's a good horror book. Uh, and, I, and the artwork is almost as disjointed as, say, the fact that all these people are basically just made out of mud. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, I like how that works. You know, it's set up really well. Uh, well, anyway, that's what I've got to say about that. Um, I've also got this to say. Next year, not sure, we're thinking March, the daughter it has agreed 
to join me in a buddy read as long as it takes. And we are going to start with this. And that's all that everybody needs to know. She's going to, we're going to read just The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. I'm not going to make her read like Silmarillion and all the extended stuff. But then that will lead into the movies. Not The Hobbit movies. They're awful. The Lord of the Rings movies. Maybe we'll watch the original Hob uh, animated Hobbit. That would be much better than the Peter Jackson trilogy. Anyway, that's what I got. Um, we'll see you tomorrow, or we'll see you later on today. We're still gonna we're gonna do a tag, and we're gonna put out two videos today. So it's marvelous to, marvelous team up Tuesday, and then later on it'll be tag Tuesday. So I will see you. Me and the doctor will see you then. She'll be on screen. And until then, read more.